Good morning guys, what is up? Today's video is going to be what I eat in a day. Um, you guys have been asking for this. Also, if you guys are new here, hello, this is the first time you're seeing my face. I'm Keaton, and today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. You guys have been asking for this because I posted a college what I eat in a day a few weeks ago, and you guys were like, we would love to see some more. I feel like it's really helpful for me so I can change up some recipes, and I do have a lot of different things that I always post on my Instagram stories. If you guys aren't, Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm super active and I post all the time over there with you guys. Also, if you guys are new here, this is the first time you guys are ever seeing my channel, seeing my face, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys just hit that red button, comment in the comments down below and say, hello, I just subscribed, I'm a new subscriber, and I will be commenting back to each and every one of you, welcome you guys to my channel. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So, for breakfast, it always varies, but um, today I'm going to work out, and so normally, what I like to do is I like to have a little bit of something in my stomach before I go and work out. I don't like to have a full meal, so I really like avocado toast. I love avocado toast, having it all the time. Um, but I like to just have a little bit of fruit, coffee, whatever in my stomach. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my little fruit yogurt bowl in the morning. I also got this recipe off of Kinsey Burke, but it is so good. I die for it, it is delicious. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I make it, how I put my own little spin on it. But yeah, I will show you guys that and it is amazing. All right, so these are the ingredients that you need. I get one whole mango, which this is actually a lot. I'll probably cut this up and save some of it. This is the best yogurt ever. It is dairy-free coconut yogurt. It's Coco Yo Living Coconut Yogurt. And it is so good. It is a little bit pricier, but it's the best. Um, and then I have some cacao nibs. I've got some honey and I've got some cinnamon and a banana. This is gonna be our breakfast for before our workout. Okay, so this is my breakfast. I realized as I was cutting the mango that it was definitely way too ripe. You can see it's like yellow and not like an orange yellow, but it's still gonna be good. I'm still gonna eat it. I've got banana, cacao, cinnamon, and the yogurt in the bottom. Um, I add honey because, oh my God, my fingernail, ew. Okay, I add honey because I feel like it makes it a little sweeter. The yogurt is very tart, so I had to like add a bunch of stuff to make it something I like a little more. Now for my coffee, I am not the type of person, I cannot have black coffee. That's just not the life I've chosen. So what I like to do, I put two Splenda into my coffee, then I use my almond creamer. This is just um, vanilla generic almond creamer I got at Whole Foods. This is some oat milk. This is one of my favorites, the original Oatly. They have another one that I like, uh, but this is one I really, really like and go to. And then I like to add in my Vital Proteins Collagen. And so this is my favorite coffee. This is what I have every single morning. I just switched over to having like a dairy-free creamer, which I'm really into right now. I am trying to cut down the amount of dairy that I have. All right, so here's my breakfast, and it is currently 7.20. I don't need to leave until 8.20, so that, and my workout is not till nine, so that's why I like to have my breakfast really, really early on in the morning, because if I eat this and I drink my coffee too close, like if I were to have this at like eight instead of 7.20, I would throw up at my workout. I just cannot have a lot of food in my body. Like I have to have this digest. So that is why I do um, my fruit and all of that first. Drink my whole coffee before I go. I don't drink it on the way or anything. 
So yeah, I'm gonna have my breakfast and then I am gonna go to my workout. When I go to my workout and come back, I will have my second breakfast and we can just go from there. Okay, everyone, as you can see, I look a little different now. I went to my workout, I legit died. I have never sweat so much in a workout. I really don't sweat that much, but I just died. So I just went and I took a shower, I changed. I mean, I changed into comfy clothes because it is still morning time-ish. It is 10.20, so what we're gonna do now is make our second breakfast because I'm very hungry. Second breakfast I like to have is oatmeal. So this is the Think Thin oatmeal. So this one is the Madagascar Vanilla Almonds Pecans, 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 however you say it. Um, there's 10 grams of protein, five grams of fiber. It is 190 calories. And yeah, this is just a protein and fiber oatmeal. And basically I just will heat this up. You can obviously make it the correct way in like a pot. I like to just microwave it, so I'm gonna do that. I'll show you guys what I put in it, how I like it. Alright, so now I've got my second little breakfast slash snack, um, and yeah, I'm just going to eat this. It honestly doesn't look like too much, but it really is filling. If you guys eat oatmeal all the time, you guys know, it really is very filling. I'm going to take a picture of this. We need to get a good thumbnail. Anyway, I think it's so freaking yummy. Um, I also started following this new account on Instagram. Let me look and see what her name is. I think that um, Kenzie suggested her on her Instagram and said, please go follow her. Her Instagram is called Days with Kate, and she has all of this different food on her page. And it's really, really simple. And she also has like a lot of food recipes or smoothie recipes and her whole page. I could definitely put a screen recording of this, but I'm just going to show you guys. But all of her food looks so delicious. And so I've been wanting to try out a bunch of her recipes. So I definitely will be trying them out. So again, if you guys like this What I Eat in a Day, don't forget to um, comment down below or give it a like so that I know that you guys like them. I know I'm not freaking Martha Stewart, but I feel like I'm not very like good at cooking, but I want to get good at it. And so this is like a journey of me learning how to get good at cooking so we can do that together and i can just do different things also feel like in my last what i eat in a day i got so many different tips and all these different things that you guys say in the comments and it helps me learn more because obviously i don't know everything no one knows everything so i can always learn from you guys in the comments or if you guys have certain recipes that you guys like you guys can always leave them down below like if you make oatmeal and you're like oh my god it would be so much better with this you can always comment that well 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 it's literally destroyed. I ate every bit of it. <laughs> so now that I've had my breakfast, I'm probably going to wait an hour, two hours um, and make my lunch. So I'll show you guys my lunch, but I have some filming to do. So I'm going to get ready, get my makeup on, finish my hair and all that kind of stuff and film. And I will get back to you guys. Okay, I'm in the same spot. I look exactly the same. And I went and got my nails done. That was the only thing that I did. I am so freaking hungry right now last time i saw you guys it was two o'clock it is now currently 2 17 or it was 11 o'clock it's 2 17 now i am starving i am so hungry um but i'm gonna be making like a salmon salad today and so i am just too hungry to wait for the salmon to thaw so i'm eating these grapes these are cotton candy grapes. If you guys have never had them, they taste amazing, but they are not as good if you don't freeze them. So like, uh, they're frozen solid. They are so good. They taste 
so delicious i got them at sprouts we have that here in arizona i know you can get them at local farmer mark like farmers market store or you guys can go to like whole foods trader joe's i've gotten cotton candy grapes at trader joe's they're in season right now so good so i'm gonna be eating grapes my salmon is thawing for the next like 10 minutes so i just need to eat something before i fall over and die i also went to the store i went and got my nails done and i got my eyebrows done because i need to film today but i was like i cannot film looking like this and while i went and got my eyebrows done and my nails done first of all they are not they're just not a lot of them are crooked like i know you guys can't see well actually you can't see look how crooked my thumb is i wanted to flame the man but i was there for three hours starving and i was like i just want to get up and go but I went and bought this book at, oh my god, my camera is so shaky. I went and bought this book at Barnes & Noble. It is 150 Years of Bazaar's, Harper Bazaar's Greatest Moments. I have been trying to get a lot more, like, vintage fashion books and things like that. And this is honestly so good. It's literally 150 years of magic. And the pictures in this, let me just show you are so good but obviously these books are not cheap this was like $70 and I was like am I really buying it but I really really do love it and I think it's so good like honestly look at this so amazing and I'm just really happy because I have been wanting different fashion books to keep in my house and decorate with and all that jazz so yeah, I just want to show you guys my book while I eat my delicious grapes all right, so what I did was I bought salmon from the grocery store. I'll show you guys the salmon I bought. Hi, this is the salmon, um, wild caught salmon fillets, firm texture and mild flavor. Okay, fabulous, whatever. I bought those, that is in the uh, oven right now. I am cooking it at 375 degrees. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't necessarily like salad as much as I feel like I should. If I'm gonna eat a salad, it needs to feel like a full meal. Like I can't just like eat a little seaweed salad or a little thing of lettuce and call it a day. So I always have to add meat. You don't have to, I normally do like grilled chicken or shrimp or whatever into a salad. So that is why I'm making the salmon right now. But I have these hearts of romaine, I've got some um, romaine lettuce and then I've got this um, dressing and this is by Daya so it's dairy free dressing and this is the creamy Caesar one it's dairy free gluten and soy free and egg free so um, I'm very excited about this one I haven't tried this um, Caesar one yet the creamy Caesar so I'm excited to try it and then I also have croutons because I love croutons I'm also weird and I eat cashews with everything. If you guys have seen my other what I eat in a day, or if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys see my Instagram stories, I love cashews. I add them into every meal. Like any meal I'm having, if I'm having rice, I'm like, let me put some cashews in there. Like I'm insane. Love cashews. So I'll probably add some cashews in this as well, just with the salmon. I'll show you guys the little things to eat on the side. Um, but this is just an easy, quick little um, salad that I like to make if you guys are wanting to have a salad for lunch and this is just I don't know this is just one of the salads I like to have so that's what we're gonna do today okay here's the salad I tasted the dressing there is some on here but I honestly hate it like I do not like this one I'm mad that I tried to get a new one because I'm not really into the Caesar one also this is the best coconut water I have ever had in my life harmless harvest the best coconut water in the world if you haven't had it order on an Amazon I don't know whatever it's so good it's also pink which I just really like but it's it's just so good guys I've only cooked salmon before like one other time so I'm feeling kind of like whenever I cook any type of meat like anytime I cook freaking well that's good Anytime I cook chicken, anything, I am so nervous, like, that it's not fully cooked. I'm, like, so scared of, like, poisoning myself that I will burn it purposely because I'm, like, if it's burnt, it's just, you know, the inside has to be cooked. 
The salmon really does help though because if I was just eating this lettuce and croutons with a little bit of dressing and some cotton candy grapes, I would be like, what is this? I'm not full. But with the salmon, it's so good. And you guys can also replace this with chicken. All right, everyone. I've officially filmed two videos. As you see, I am a changed woman. The hair is done. Makeup is done. And we are about to start cooking dinner. It's currently 5.43. I know it's a little early to be eaten, but my stomach is growling. Last time we ate was at two, I believe. So yeah, I'm getting a little hungry by the time it's cooked. I'll be ready to go. I have the hiccups. Be ready to go. We are gonna make a shrimp quinoa bowl. I am thawing the shrimp right now, so I don't have it, but this is what I'm gonna be using. I've got my Trader Joe's organic quinoa. I've got some broccoli right here. I've got an avocado. I've got lemon. I've got some butter. I like to put this butter. This is the Earth Balance Organic. This is vegan, non-GMO butter. I like to put this butter in the quinoa for some reason without it it just tastes really watery and weird so i like to put it in the quinoa don't know if that's a thing but that's what i do so right now we're gonna cut up the broccoli and we are gonna oh and i'm also gonna have mushrooms i forgot the mushrooms so we're gonna have a little bowl tonight with the mushrooms but what we're gonna do is instead of sauteing the mushrooms and sauteing broccoli we are gonna bake them so we are gonna chop some broccoli up put the mushrooms into the oven and let's get it going Okay, I'm gonna voice over this portion in case you guys are actually following along. Basically, once you chop them up, I just put them in a bowl. I put a little bit of olive oil in the bowl and then I season it. I normally will use Trader Joe's seasoning, some pepper, salt, and then I will put it on a baking sheet. And you're gonna bake the vegetables for nine minutes on 425 degrees. Now for the quinoa, I just put as much as I was feeling. I only had a little bit of the bag left, so I just used the rest of the bag. And then what you're gonna do is put two cups of water into the pan and you're gonna let it boil. So once it starts boiling and bubbling up, um, you guys will see it's boiling here and I will turn it all the way down to low, let it simmer, and then I put a lid on top of it. And I do that for also around nine minutes, the same as the broccoli. This is my dinner, here it is. I basically, oh, I have the hiccups, oh my gosh. I've got broccoli, I've got mushrooms, I've got avocado, and I've got some shrimp, and then I put the quinoa, oh my gosh. I put the quinoa at the bottom of the bowl, and then I just sprinkled some lemon over top of it to give it a little bit of fla flavor. I really, really love this meal, and I think the whole point of this is to show you guys that I'm not a freaking chef. I don't do a lot of things right. There's a lot of ways that I cook that make absolutely no sense. But the point is, is that you guys can do it, and I don't want it to ever feel like it's too hard. I feel like I was so intimidated to cook because I was like, I just don't know anything. But you're never gonna know anything about cooking and making dinner and stuff unless you actually try it. So that's why I make these what I eat in a day because these are really just like simple. These are not hard. I am not a freaking chef. I just do these and I like them and they're good. I think it's so delicious. It fills me up and so if you guys wanna try it, go for it. Alrighty guys, I am done. I just had dinner. I am feeling super full. I also had a little bit of some cookie butter. I had like a spoonful of cookie butter. That is my dessert before bed. It is also 8 o'clock. Like, I'm not joking. It is 8.10. Um, what is going on? Oh, it is currently 8.10, and I am fully in bed. Just washed my face, ready to go to sleep on a lovely Saturday night. That's my life. And um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna reply to a bunch of emails, do some editing, and yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you guys liked this What I Eat in a Day, and if you guys wanna see some more recipes, or if you guys wanna suggest recipes, if you guys have some bomb recipes and you really want me to try them, leave them in the comments down below. I'm literally always looking for new things to try. Like, 
I am trying to learn how to cook things and so the only way I can is if I get really good recipes that you guys send to me so thank you guys so much again for watching this video don't forget to subscribe it would mean so much to me if you guys would subscribe and again comment down below and say hello I'm a new subscriber I will be, I will be replying to each and every one of you who says that because I would really like to welcome you guys thank you guys so much again and I will see you guys next time